Hello, beautiful black people. I hope that all is well in your world, and this day will be a very good day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. <clears throat> beautiful black people, know that it is abnormal for black folks. It is abnormal for black folks. Yet, we have to behave this way almost every day of our lives. We must be concerned about how we behave, act out there in public when surrounded by those white folks. We have to be cognizant of the threat that they are to us, to our lives, to our health, to our, to our survival, etc., etc. Therefore, we must be cautious to behave in a way uh, uh, so not to scare, not to frighten those punk-ass, dumb white folks out there who are terrified of black folks for whatever delusionous reason that they have conjured, conjured up in their sick mind. They all need to have a civics lesson. I remember that civics was a class that used to be required before you could graduate from high school. You were taught what was in the U.S. Constitution. And after all of those student rebellions back in the 1960s, these stupid white folks using stupid white boy logic decided to banish civics and replace it with something called Social studies, ridiculous. So now we live in a country that has a fabulous constitution. If you read it, it is really a fabulous constitution. I have read it. I know what's in it. And I have to give it to those white folks. It is a fabulous constitution, although when it was written, it did not include black folks, people that look like me. It did not include my ancestors and your ancestors, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Nonetheless, it is a fabulous constitution if you read the words and interpret them correctly. And all that the Constitution guarantees, it is a contract between the citizens of this country and the government. And I suspect that Trump, his administration, most of the Republican Party, that lily white, racist, white supremacy lace Republican Party, and those 63 million white folks, or is it 80 million now, that support Trump have no idea of what 
the Constitution really says. And so, if you do not know what your rights are, if you do not know what your rights are, then how can you stand up for your rights if you don't know what your rights are? And furthermore, and furthermore, if you do not know what's in that document called the Constitution, then how can you care if someone like Trump, his administration, the Republican Party, is shredding it? every day of our lives right here on this plantation called America. The Constitution is being threaded. The rule of law is being banished unequivocally. Her name is Patricia McCluskey. She lives in the St. Louis, Missouri area. She is the one that pointed a loaded gun with her finger on the trigger at a group of protesters that was protesting peacefully down there, those white folks' private street. And she and her punk-ass white boy husband say that these peaceful protesters marching down their private street, and the operative word is private, was a threat to their lives. Therefore, they came out of their home, and she had a handgun loaded with her finger on the trigger, and her punk-ass husband had an automatic long gun with his hand on the trigger, pointing them at those peaceful protesters. Lisa Patricia McCloskey and her punk-ass white boy husband is still alive today. They're both lawyers, they're still practicing law today. Michael Brown was murdered. The racist white cop was not indicted. Eric Garner was choked to death. The racist white cop was not indicted. Freddie Gray was murdered and the trial resulted in a hung jury. No punishment for the cops. Sandra Bland was hung. She was hung in her cell. None of the white cops was indicted. Tamir Rice, the 12-year-old, was shot dead The insane racist white cop was not indicted. The phrase is cognitive cognitive dissidence. Sometimes there are people that hold a core belief that is very strong. Think about this. There are people out there especially the Trump-like folks, Trump, the lily-white Republican Party, and the Trump administration, those 63 to 280 million white folks, racist white folks that support Trump. Those people hold core belief 
And these beliefs that they hold are very, very strong. When these folks, these white folks, are presented with evidence that works against their core belief, the new evidence cannot be accepted by these crazy, delusionist white folks because it would create a feeling that is extremely uncomfortable and that extremely uncomfortable feeling is a mental illness that's called cognitive dissonance. Remember the term cognitive dissonance. We have been governed by a minority group of white racist Republicans that are suffering from cognitive dissonance. And because it is so important to protect these racist white folks like Trump, it is so important to them to protect their core belief, then they will rationalize, they will rationalize away, they will ignore and Trump, the Republican Party, and the Trump administration will even deny anything that does not fit in with their core belief. These people are delusionists, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers. And sisters, we are being led, we are being governed by a minority group of white folks. The Trump, the Trump administration, the Republican Party that are suffering from a mental illness called cognitive dissidence, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. That's all I have on this one. Please go to the thrashaway.libsyn.com.